How is everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Orlando Kart Center for the four hour endurance race. We are running a Tillerson class. Uh, the drivers will be Alex, Bill, and Fernando. I'll be just tuning and uh, helping them during the pit stops. Um, it's a really fun event. Uh, I like how they have the two different classes with the Tillsons and the Reynolds. I wish they had the two sixes, but I guess that's not that's not happening anymore here at Orlando for the endurance racing. For the locals, they still have it. So, um, fun track, one of the best tracks in Florida. I still think this is awesome. One of my favorite tracks, a very technical track. Um, for sure, come out, check it out. Good facility, good people, good racing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit all those buttons. I appreciate all the support. Catch you guys on track. So here we are during our four minute stop. Um, that gives you enough time to change the weights if we need to change weights, check uh, the bolts, um, you know, look at the gear, look at the motor mount, make sure everything's tight, lube up the bearings, lube up the chain. Uh, driver gets in and time to fire it up. He has to cross the line uh, no sooner than the four minute mark. Uh, these guys know I had this thing down pat. He would send them out a little early. They're endurance racing, you have some comms. So he'll tell them, wait, 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 go. I think all of our pit stops, except for the one that we had a long pit stop, was and the exhaust, was right at, right at the four minute mark. So Fernando's the one in the cart. Uh, this is all about getting through traffic as quickly as possible, uh, as safely as possible. That's the name of the game. Yes, it is an endurance race, but this one is only four hours, so it's like a mini sprint race. Um, we, we could have been the fastest one lap cart, but Alex was really aggressive and really fast in traffic and that's why we would get such a big lead uh, the other team was just not that fast getting through traffic as alex was so for fernando in the cart he gets up to speed he is being cautious uh starting out this run um and then you know he picks up the pace as the run goes on and on and on uh, it is hard to just get out there uh, and be quick off the bat uh, endurance racing you set up the cart but there's four or five drivers here he gets really lucky uh, we didn't bend a tire rod a spindle a steering shaft the weight difference is uh, these carts the rentals are like 580 and we're only at 360 they have uh, guards all around bumpers we don't um, if we smack one of these bad boys hard we're done for a day so it's about getting through traffic smooth and crazy as uh, smoothly as possible but uh, offense is a better defense if you drive defensively and you just give them space and time they will run you off the track on accident uh, just like right there they will spin now you will be put in a dangerous situation so the whole goal is to get by as quickly as possible there are times that he is a little too timid and he gets put himself in those bad situations but other times he does a really good job of picking and choosing where he makes his passes right here he just panic breaks uh, this is why I don't like really sensitive brakes people panic brake a lot they see a cart automatically they spin they jump on the brakes they spin out if you don't have as much brake pressure you don't that do, it usually doesn't happen he does it a couple times uh, you'll see up here this car will get a little sideways and wiggly he will panic brake get on the brakes overshoot the corner cart gets upset it is really hard not to do it um, I just if someone starts spinning I just roll off the gas and aim towards them most of the time you're supposed to hold the brakes right so you don't drive in the traffic but a lot of people when they spin out they don't hold the brakes so they just keep spinning that's what I do sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I'm not saying it's gonna work all the time um, right through here he does a really good job avoiding this uh, this battle that's going on and then he gets around uh, these couple guys right here she, she should have held it wide open got around him on the outside um, but we just lost a little bit of time I mean a little bit uh, a second or two second adds up as a 20 to 30 minute run if you're losing a second a lap you're losing 20 seconds in 20 minutes it's a big difference so getting through traffic is huge um, he does a really good job he stays clean most of the time right here he just overshoots himself gets on the brakes too hard locks up spins it out that car coming through it could have been really bad business but we got lucky a lot of times um, overall great driving uh, consistent just a couple minor mistakes um, just things that you need to keep an eye out just it's hard to drive a car that's set up for a neutral setup because you have 
different drivers and different driving styles and it's not set up for one specific per person it's set up for everybody uh, to get in the car and just to be able to drive it that is it it's not set up for the optimal setup as a one lap you know all out it's set up for the long run to be easy on the tires uh, easier to drive steering wheel lighten up this is a Tony car so it's a little bit different than the TV setup wise but pretty much the same they act pretty much the same um, it was a good run for him he brought into the pits uh, gave it off to Bill and then from there on Bill took care of it and then Alex jumped in and took care of it again so overall good run good job so first thing in the books, Alex did an amazing job, uh, pulled out about a 35 second gap, got a penalty for passing on the yellow, it is extremely, you know, tight on that, the accident happened yellow and then, you know, you're, in, you're already in the middle of a pass, so um, that kind of put us back a little bit, about 10 seconds, he made up 20 more seconds, put seconds, 10 seconds in front, uh, first pit stop, our exhaust fell off, the tip so we had to put the tip back on tie that thing back out and then uh we lost about 30 seconds ish there now we got fernando in the car uh fernando's doing fernando so hopefully we make up a little time and don't lose too much time and then uh bill will be next or maybe we throw alex back in uh, we don't know how the order is going to go but uh definitely uh we're going to push it to the very end now the best thing about fernando and bill there was no weight change over so i didn't have to change weights from one driver to another uh, alex takes about 30 pounds so those pit stops are a little bit hectic uh, between bill and uh, alex and then uh, fernando and alex so uh, taking weight off and on uh, it's always good to have a second set of hands so they can uh, see what's going on uh, this time the engine starts a lot quicker i know you see a couple pulls there i'm pulling but uh, after giving it to Victor Peters, the motor does fire up a lot faster, and there is a big power difference from when we got it to when we got it back. Um, this time, it's just it was just a little cranky to start it up, but uh, once we get going, uh, Bill does an amazing job getting through traffic. He does a great job of staying out of trouble. Um, overall, his pace was really good. Uh, we weren't losing any time uh, to first place. We're actually gaining our time back. Uh, time back and then on top of that uh, we were actually pulling away from third place we had fallen back to third place because of that issue but then we started making a whole bunch of time up and started gaining so we actually made time forward on first place we're down I think 28 laps at one point and then we fought our way back to 22 laps um, that team of kids was really quick we just got through traffic way faster um, there were some moves there that I was like, wow, we are, <laughs> we're really moving. But at those times when we're that far back, uh, you had to take some risk. Um, we had already lost the win, so why not push and see if we can run it back? Because uh, you never know what happens. Here, you have to finish under power. So if you are coming up to a checkered flag and you break the chain, it goes away. Right here, you see Bill slow down, uh, just waiting for Noah's cue to cross the finish line so we don't break out. And then this, these uh, pit stops were just perfectly timed. Uh, I'm telling you, there were 401, 402 pit stops. And if you can save eight to nine seconds on a pit stop, you don't have to make up eight to nine seconds on track. So the pit stops are really key for us. We did a really good job. And then from there on out, uh, Bill and Alex took care of the rest of the race. Uh, and they were just slicing and dicing through traffic. You see here, he gets up on the inside um, to turn five, gets right up on the back bumper and it holds it up on the outside, no problem. Uh, you can see there's three way battling. He doesn't even let off the gas. He times it perfectly, uh, slices through traffic and gets through it without an issue. So overall, um, really happy with the performance of the team. And it was kind of frustrating that we lost so much time in pits because we had enough pure pace to win the race. And those are just, you know, out of our control. And that's all about racing. You know, some stuff that happened that's out of our control. I've never seen that happen. Uh, a brake rotor explode but you know I'm glad that when it happened it didn't happen in a horrible spot uh, you see here he um, he thought about doing it but then he made a really good move quickly into his hairpin uh, to get out and under so really good job by Bill all right guys we had to make an unscheduled pit stop due to a brake rotor exploding it 
was not my fault. <laughs> now the bo all the bolts were tight. It's just the brake rotor um, decided to shear itself. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen this issue before. So um, as you can see, the bolts were in, and this piece, the bolts were still in, and this piece decided to go bye bye, and then it just fell apart. Um, luckily, Bill was out there. He was able to stop the cart. Yeah, he actually ran into the fence to slow the cart down. Everything else checked out, we swapped it out, got back on track. Um, we're about 28 laps down from the leader. We were 30, we made up two. We have speed, but we don't have enough time to catch up. But we're not giving up. Good race in the end, uh, giving it everything we got. I can see uh, the rotor exploding. That was just bad. Uh, overall, the team did an amazing job. Uh, the N N Alzheimer's team, if you don't know what that is, check out the uh, Facebook page. Um, he does a really good job about raising money for Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's research. Uh, Bill does. Here at this point, you can see um, there is an issue. He has an issue. He has slowed down. Uh, he is pumping the brake pedal. The problem is there ain't no brakes. <laughs> he ain't got no brakes, man. It was... It was insane. I heard over the radio, he said there's uh, there's no brakes, no brakes, I have a brake issue. He does a really smart job of not entering pit road. Um, that was really smart of him not to enter pit road because uh, he was not going to be able to stop. He would just slam into the back of someone. Really good job of slowing the cart down. And then he found the access road to the side and uses the fence uh, to stop himself. So that was really, really smart uh, of him to basically just use this because the cart's just going by himself. His foot's flat to the ground, not stopping. He uses his fence, shuts the motor off, and that was it. Uh, we lost tons of times in the pits fixing it, but thanks for watching, guys. Overall, endurance racing is a blast. It teaches you a lot about consistency, learning how to drive a different cart, learning how to drive a different setup. Overall, thanks, guys. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, share button. Catch you guys on track. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.